week, the team at Treyarch is dropping a mid-season update for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Season 2, featuring new content for multiplayer and zombies, as well as a few global changes that serves up a little something for everyone. Buckle up, because we're going to jump into Season 2 Reloaded. Copy that. Fucking hang on. Expect three multiplayer maps this week, including Miami Strike, a 6v6 experience that tightens the design from the original, offers a new layout, and a new daylight setting. Mansion, the new hotness for 2v2 and 3v3, including Gunfight, Gunfight Blueprints, Faceoff, and more. And then, after debuting exclusively in Outbreak for the first half of the season, the massive new Galova map comes to multi-team modes, along with the insane new 40-player hardpoint mode. Miami Strike will receive its own 24-7 playlist, and Prop Hunt will return with two new maps, Miami Strike and Satellite. On the weapons front, the R1 Shadowhunter crossbow is available now. Next week, the ZRG 20mm sniper rifle will go live for everyone to unlock and level up. We should also note that we're rolling out a new weapon tuning pass this week. For more on that, as well as what's in store for upcoming features like gunfight tournaments, make sure to tune into our blog at Treyarch.com. The start of Season 2 introduced players to Outbreak, and the reaction has been amazing. In fact, since its introduction, more people have played Black Ops Cold War Zombies than ever before, including at launch. And we're happy to share that this week, Outbreak is getting even bigger. Zombies gets its newest locale in Outbreak with Sanatorium Night, a massive new region to explore after dark, making everything undead that much creepier. It's an absolutely huge new area, so make sure to partner up with some talented teammates because you're going to need the help. Additionally, Outbreak will feature the new Secure objective, serve up crucial new intel to discover, and feature the new Dirt Bike Vehicle. Also, Zombies players will now be able to apply any blueprint they own to their weapon. For a full list of everything that's going into Zombies, as well as how the Dark Aether story will continue an Outbreak through the next season, stay tuned to Treyarch.com's blog. Fans can also expect additions to Dead Ops Arcade. Since launch, Dead Ops has received a great response from players, especially with the recent launch of its first-person mode. This week, the team will feature a response to player feedback, providing player XP and battle pass progression. Additionally, players will see a brand new Silverback Slideways bonus map added to the mix. For Zombies fans on PlayStation, get ready for the new containment mode set on the game's gunfight maps. Take on a new blueprint challenge and look for new item drops, including level two and level three armor, plus new chalice drops that will pack a punch your weapon for the first time in Onslaught. Last but not least, Gunsmith Customs comes to Black Ops Cold War, allowing players to mix and match attachments from blueprints of the same weapon type in Create a Class. Across all modes in Warzone, Wolf joins the roster of NATO operators as an elite Delta Force sniper. And next week, Rivas will join the fight as our fourth new operator in Season 2. And just like in multiplayer and zombies, the new ZRG 20mm sniper rifle will be available to use in Warzone loadouts once unlocked. We hope that you enjoyed all the double XP, double weapon XP, and double battle pass XP over the weekend, and that you're properly warmed up and ready to go for the mid-season launch. Check out the full roadmap on Treyarch's social channels, and we'll see you online.